going on people this is the black glove gamer and this is my review of the vr game in death it just came out of early access as of october 2nd of 2018 of this year and this is a roguelike experience where every run is going to be different because it has procedurally generated levels so there is no memorizing your enemy's locations there's no memorizing anything you start the game off with a bow, either a long bow or a crossbow in your shield and hand. While you're going through the levels, enemies will drop items. Maybe a bow where it has wildfire, it might be a freezing type bow where once it hits its target it freezes in place. You might get explosive bow where it's in you get it, you shoot it into the target's leg, he may take two steps, and then will blow up in slow motion, and it, it, it's, it's, it's very, it's very decent. But the enemies vary, you have wraiths that come through walls, flaming cherub type creatures throwing fireballs at you, knights that will block arrows with your shields. It's, 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 it's a very, it, it has you on your toes, it's very challenging. I've died for months now. Because I, I get into this game every day. Might be for a short play session, might be for long. It depends on how good I am at that moment. But if you want a game, an archery based game, that chooses to not use, not make free locomotion its only preferable route. Because the free locomotion that's on here is not as fast as on other games to me it seems like it's a little bit slow and it forces you to have to use their arrow based locomotion where you will have a, a a locomotion arrow where you fire and shoot it to where you want to teleport to and they also have a locomotion shard where you would throw it and that would allow you to teleport also and to me, it, hey, I get away further from these guys if I'm shooting a locomotion arrow than just getting around on foot. <laughs> but it is a very good game in my opinion. This is definitely a buy. Currently, it's $29.99 on Steam. It's for the Vive, Rift, and I've played it with a Windows Mixed Reality headset also with no problems. If you can catch it on the sale, I would definitely get it on the sale also. It just makes it even better. Uh, the developer, Soulfall Studios, and I hope I pronounced that right, uh, came out with a, with a DLC called Paradise Lost, which adds a new area and even more enemies and challenges to, do, to go and put your arrow through. Uh, this is the Black Love Gamer. I hope you like my review. <laughs> I'm going to try to do these type of things more to get better at them. But if you want to, this is the beginning point to this channel. If you want to ride with me, um, subscribe. Hey, throw a like in there. Comment. And uh, this the black the channel of the Black Love Gamer. And Little J will just expand and grow. And I hope you stay with us. All right. Black Love Gamer out.